turned up in somewhere which is not where I normally frequent and that is uh, a whole load of new builds in Billingshurst in West Sussex. I've been dragged here by one of my viewers, Windmill Bob. Hello Windmill Bob. Hi Richard, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, you've been a fan for a while? Yes, a couple of years now. Um, uh, lockdown has uh, certainly been more entertaining thanks to you. Oh, bless you. And so you don't live, you used to live in Sussex? Uh, well, I grew up in East Surrey, so... Oh, uh, right, on, um, the, on the border Yeah, I mean, Sussex has always been my neighbouring county. So. And now you're in Suffolk. Suffolk. From Sussex to Suffolk. And Surrey. I like counties beginning with SU. Uh, yes, clearly. <laughs> so, you, so you'll come back for a holiday? Yeah, we were just desperate to go away um, for a few days. Uh, the girls broke up from school and just, just needed to, somewhere just to go, apart from our backyard, and um, just chose chose Horsham of all places of all places yeah. yeah my old hometown well I'm thrilled because you're taking me to a couple of windmills yeah that I didn't know existed so even better so here we are as I said surrounded by houses well let's get out and have a look shall we on a modern housing estate the last place really that you would imagine um, there's a windmill. I'll come around this side. Here we go. But there is. Well, it's, it was part of a farm beforehand called Hammond's Farm. And I believe this mill dates back to about 1820. Uh, oh, right. But unfortunately, no photographs of it remain in its complete state. Um, and when I first came here, sort of in the, in the 80s, uh, there was a huge ash tree. Uh, growing right through the middle of what remains of the mill, as you'll soon see, uh, and it effectively uh, ruined the, the brickwork, oh, as right. you see. It's, it's interesting, because when you think of a windmill, often you think of a, a, a wooden post mill, or you yeah. think of um, a, a tower mill or a smock mill, but this one's got a very big base made of not brick, but stone. Yeah, this was a smock mill, um, and it was obviously a lot taller, uh, but uh, the two stories that remain as sort of remain could have quite easily just been cleared and built on but I'm glad that the developers saw some goodness in what was remaining of, of it and to preserve the remains. It's basically uh, an adult's climbing frame. Should we go and have a look? Yes! But they did all the repointing um, and it's you can see where the at first floor level the uh, the gallery used to go round. So these holes here are where the, the gallery spars came came out. So at some point it, the mill probably had cloth cells because they needed the, the 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 miller used to stand on the gallery to pull over pull the, the the cloth and the common cells. So that's they call it the reefing stage. Right. Oh, okay. So um, you can see all all around the first floor level the uh, the holes which they again they've preserved they haven't really taken anything away from the mill or the remains of it anyway it's and what's interesting is that as you look at this if you first come up you didn't know it was a windmill you'd think it was a castle or something wouldn't you yes because it's unusual in its um the structure of stones rather than brick yeah there's lots of for Sussex anyway definitely I mean there, there's lots of references to mills in this in this immediate area that, that's like mill barn there's mill view and there's probably a mill house that was pretty only built last year <laughs> gosh Let's so go. yeah this this was all farmland uh, when I first came here in the in, in the 80s um, danger do not climb <laughs> You can see some poor kids sort of climbing on here and doing some damage to themselves. There's oh, actually here we go. A, oh, here we a... go. Yes, um, I was going to say there, there there is a board. So this is, as you can see, that drawing was done by a 
famous um, artist called Carl Wood in 1938. So even by 1938, it was in a in a in a ruinous state. And and this this, this drawing here is just postulation, really. I mean, it's because no one knows what it no, really looked like. It's but pretty likely, I, you know. I mean, maybe yeah. finessed slightly differently. Yeah, but it's based on... It does look like a windmill. It does look like a windmill, yeah. It is based on other smot mills that, that you know are in the area, West Chiltington being one, right. Shipley being oh, another yeah. smot mill not too far from here. But uh, it's... it's I, li I like what they've done to this remains because they, they could have easily have just just but knocked it down. Knocked it down and yeah. Has it got a preservation order on it? Do you I think? Doubt it. Doubt it. Oh right. No. No. So this presumably, in its time, was quite a high point. Um, yes. You know, because often when you've got all new builds and things and roads and what have you, you don't always realise quite how high up you are. Whereas, oh, we could go in. Here we yeah. go. You get a good, nice good indication. Echo. Echo. And then what with the height, as well as the mill, you get, you're going to get those winds, yeah. which is all important winds that you need. I mean, we are on quite a high spot up here. I yeah. mean, obviously, when you drove up here, we did drive up that hill. Um, and these trees all around here wouldn't have been around, you know, sort of 100 years ago. So it would have really caught the wind. And very little is known about the remains of this mill. So this is a bit of a, like a little hidden gem. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad it's still here. Yes. Even well, if anybody does know anything about it, do get in touch. Yeah. You never know, you know. Stranger things happen. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, Windmill Bob, we've moved on from Billingshurst and you've brought me to in Nutbourne. We're, we're still in West Sussex um, but we're in the village of Nutbourne. Which, which is near West Chiltington isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Na and, neighbor, neighboring village. And Thacombe. So let's we're going to wander up because um, very funny dog here. this is a, a winery. Yes. So we've got uh, grapes growing on the vines all around us which is very very picturesque and then Basically, the centrepiece here is the old windmill. The old tower mill that was built, I think, about 1854. So a little later yeah, than so the old, one we saw. Yeah, older, uh, sorry, younger than the uh, one in Billingshurst. But this one didn't, didn't um, work for very long. The fantail blew off, I think, about 1896. And um, oh, so see, this, so this, dog, about... this dog wants me to throw it. Oh, throw this. <laughs> So it lasted about 40 years, which is... Yes, which is quite not, not very long for a windmill, because no. they, they normally repair them if something falls off. Um, but this one, you know, kind of stayed un, you know, unuseful. It was lid in for a while as well, in, in the early part of the 20th century. But gradually, you know, bits started to fall off the mill. Uh, the cap kind of became in tatters and it probably blew off a, during, during a windy night. After uh, the sort of 1920s, windmills really were no longer viable, were they, financially? Not really, uh, and, they, and they still are very expensive to repair, you know, and unless you're using them on a continual basis, they're not particularly that um, economically viable. Um, so, like by the 1920s, this mill was starting to, you know, get more and more um, derelict. At some point, they took all the machinery out inside the the tower itself. Should we wander up? Yes, and have a look yeah, at yeah. It? And we've got um, a bit of a windy day today, yeah, which well, would be good for a windmill, yeah. of course. When, when I first came here about 1978, 79. Can't remember exactly when. I was quite young, obviously. And uh, the mill was just. Totally derelict. The, uh, the the sails of the mill were still attached to the wind shaft, but the wind shaft had collapsed into the tower itself. Right. And so the sails were literally hanging on the top oh, of the they? top of the tower, and the mill was completely. The, there were no floorboards. There was, uh, and it was just full of pigeon guana. Oh gosh. 
Uh, we've se seen the wind shaft is actually on the on the other side on the other yeah. side so that's not been taken away which is quite which nice is, which is nice yeah it's kind of um yeah, they, they've kept it as a as a souvenir i suppose um but and i should just say for those that don't know the wind shaft is what is the I mean, it's the, it's the crux, really, of it. Is it's, it's the axle, in a yeah, way. Yeah, it, it, the, the wind shaft carries the sails or the sweeps, as they're known as in, yeah. in Sussex and Kent. And they, you know, the wind shaft drives all the other machinery down below inside a windmill. So, yeah, the wind shaft carries the the, the energy from the wind and turns it into uh, mechanical energy. Well, we'll just nip inside. Obviously, the lighting is a little dim for the for the old camera, but we might just get a vague idea of course it's now very much a, a wine tasting area and we've drunk all those bottles we we have we've, we we may not be able to get up the stairs i'm going to just wander up the stairs a bit so that we get a bit of height as well and we can come out onto the gallery here we get a view right the way up to the very top. Here we go, look at that. Um, and then we come outside. So this, this, this beam is original. You know, this is, uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty knackered. This beam here? Yeah, it's pretty knackered. So this is the original beam. You can see all the woodwork, it's a woodworm. And here, if we come out, we can see the view that the millers would have seen down to the South Downs, which must have been rather wonderful for them back in the day. We're now looking over the vineyard, of course, but I guess this would have been farmland. Well, that was a successful, successful day, wasn't it, Rob? Bob, windmill Bob. Where next, Richard? Pick. Oh, we got we got all these windmills to see, Richard. I think it's a lifetime, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but that's it for this video, Bob. I have to say, thank you so much for uh, bringing me around. We've had a, a fantastic time looking at a couple of windmills. We'll have to do it again. De definitely, yeah. When most, you're, most enjoyable. When you're next down from Suffolk from Suffolk uh, in the in the south of England. Yeah. So there we go. Don't forget to visit the winery um, and go to Billingshurst and have a look round and, and you'll be able to tell people what it is. I bet most people walking past there will have a clue. Yeah. So there we are. You've been educated. I don't know whether that's a good thing. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thank you, Bob. No, thank you, Richard. That's really yeah. been great fun. We've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow, like and subscribe and all the rest of it. Thumbs up and all of that. And I'll see you out on the next one. Right, we can find somewhere to have a drink. I know you bought a bottle of wine, but I don't drink anything. <laughs> I need a tea! <laughs>